In this video, we're going to show you how we can take an animated vertex map and how we can emit particles from that map and also control the density of that particle emission. In our scene, we have this plane primitive and we've got 100 segments in the width and the height. And what we want to do is create a procedural vertex map on this primitive object. Let's do that with the um, Cinema 4D inbuilt system. We'll go to Tags, Other Tags and add a vertex map. There it is. And now with this vertex map, if we go to the basic tab, we have Use Transfer Active by default. And that means we can use fields to create um, procedural vertex map. So let's just add a linear field in here and you can see that this field is driving this vertex weight and where the field value is zero the vertex weight value is red which means zero where the field value uh, gradually gets to one the vertex weight value is one as well. So we could animate this you can do whatever you want with it but what we're going to do is emit particles from this vertex map. So the way we do that is, um, the first thing we need to do is to put this plane in a join. So let's go to Insidium, X Particles, Utilities, Join. Drag that plane in. But now we've done that, we can't see our vertex weight. So let's go to the Join object and just switch off Hide Source so we can see that again. Cool. So now we want to bring in an XP emitter. We'll go to Insidium, X Particles, Emitter. And we want to emit from the join object. So let's go to the object tab, change the emitter shape to object mode, drag in the XP join. We want to emit particles from the surface area of that. So the emit from that mode is polygon area. And then if we go to the emission tab, let's put this on, say, uh, 50,000 particles, leave everything default. In fact, look, let's go to the display and just change it from squares to dots because I want to demonstrate a kind of a thick particle cloud here. So if we hit play, now we're getting particles emitting from the surface of our uh, plane. Good, that's what we want. But what we want to do is use this vertex weight. So let's go to our XP emitter, object tab, and look, we have a selection link field here. Now this can use polygon point edge selections, but it can also directly use vertex maps as well. So all we need to do is drag in our procedural vertex map into there, hit play. And what you can see is that we are getting the, the density of our particle cloud is being driven, the density of that emission is being driven by that vertex weight. Where the weight is near zero, it's a far thinner particle cloud, and where the weight is one, it is a far thicker. Now, there's a couple of controls that we've got here. If we say only want to emit particles from where the vertex weight is 0.5 and above, 50% and above, we can use this vertex map threshold slider. Let's put that on 50, and now it'll only emit particles from that point, and anything that's below 50% vertex weight, we get no particles. But what's useful is if we put this back onto zero, so we get that kind of thinning out gradient. And we can adjust this and thin this out even more by adjusting our linear field curve. Let me just show you. So we'll go to our linear field. Here is the default linear curve from zero weight to max weight. And what we want to do is make this have a bit more contrast. So the way we do that is, look, we just come down. We change the contour mode from non to curve and you don't know if you can see in that display it's now a little curved and if we come down we can now edit look we have a spline to drive that curve so if I take this one and add some contrast to this curve now we have got lots more parts of our plane that have very little vertex weight so now if we hit play yeah we've got a really th uh, thinned out particle cloud here and as it gets to one we're getting that thick particle cloud. And of course, if we wanted to, we could pull this one out. Um, so we've got more uh, particles in this part of our 
uh, emission. But that is how we can use uh, vertex maps directly in X particles and nexus scenes to generate our particles to define from where they're emitted from mesh geometry, but also to define how many particles, the density of that particle emission based on the vertex weight.